Spermatozoa cell development initializes with the spermatogenesis, a synthesis of sperm which involves a meiosis phase of the gamut. At this initial phase of development, spermatozoa are integrated with the basic of male germ cells, the somatic cells, through both meiosis and mitosis phases. The primary cells of sperm production are the spermatogonial stem cells containing two N of chromosomes. From these early cells mitosis occurs which produces diverse cells called spermatogonium which also carry two N of chromosomes. Mitosis again occurs which produces primary spermatocytes that also carry two N of chromosomes. These primary spermatocyte cells then pass through meiosis I phase, producing two cells and each carrying n number of chromosomes called secondary spermatocytes. Then the cells go through meiosis II, a cell duplication, producing the early spermatide cells, which also carry n number of chromosomes. Finally, early spermatids will produce late spermatids, which will become adult spermatozoa. The human sperm cell is approximately 60 microns long and is divided into four parts, the head, neck, midpiece and tail. The head is oval shape and has an enzyme filled vesicle called an acrosomal region that covers about two thirds of the head. It contains the enzymes that help the sperm to penetrate the ovum. It also contains a large nucleus that carries the chromosome. The neck region carries a proximal centriole which initiates division of zygotes and a distal centriole which gives rise to the axial tail. The midpiece is formed when the mitochondria of the sperm cell aligns as a spiral around the primary part of the tail. The midpiece functions as an energy source for the motile sperm. The tail of the sperm is elongated and narrow and comprises of an axial filament called flagella. The flagella encase the central core of microtubules which are neatly arranged as two inner filaments in the centre surrounded by nine anafilaments. The main function of the sperm tail is for propulsion. The primary function of the sperm is to transport 23 chromosomes to the ovum which contains another 23 chromosomes. Male ejaculate contains about a quarter billion sperm and they are transported via a fluid called semen. After ejaculation the sperm propel themselves from the cervix through the uterus to the fallopian tube where the egg will be fertilized. Only one sperm will penetrate and the rest will die within the female body after a few days.